What I miss most from my country? Oh, my mom and my sister. My sister, she passed away three years ago and I miss her a lot. I go to my country to for vacation. I feel so bad when I, I get into her room. Everything is the same. Since last day she was there, there, there is a big picture in that room. I spoke with her. I know Jesus keep her some places. Yeah, but uh, I miss my, my sister a lot. Okay, this is uh, Luis, this is Arma, and we, we work too hard to keep AU clean for you, for everybody in this campus, especially for the students. I'm from El Salvador, smallest country on Central America, very, very big population. Some people immigrate to different countries, because first thing by that time, you know, the situation in my country was too difficult about the war, the civil war. The other thing is was to help my family, to support them, to get a better life. We try to escape from that persecution. Yeah, I've been here for a long time. I like it. I like my country too. I miss my country. With some problem, but at, uh, if you don't get involved with that kind of people like guns, that, that's fine. But, uh, the situation is uh, is terrible right now in my country, the guns. That's why some of my people don't want to go back to El Salvador because they, are, they feel so scared. Right now they kill you for, for anything, for nothing. I, I want to improve my, my, you know, my speaking. Why? Because sometimes it's, it's difficult to ex explain something and I, 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 I use a different word to meaning the same thing, but uh, it's, uh, it's sometimes too difficult, but I try. My name is Amelia Frank Vitale. I am doing a master's degree in ethics, peace, and global affairs. I did a lot of student labor activism when I was an undergraduate. And then I worked as a, as a labor organizer. My name is Don McIntyre. I'm the director of housekeeping here at American University. American University, like many universities, during the 80s when subcontracting sort of became a thing to do, decided to find another company to manage its sort of facilities maintenance. Yes, I'm actually um, employed by Aramark. Um, however, we're integrated, so some people may never know, but we're integrated into American University, into the culture, and into the organization itself. So the people who work for that company don't technically work for the university, even though they're here every day and are part of the, the sort of daily functioning of this place, and they know the students who live in the dorms that they clean and things like that, but, but there's still this like degree of, of kind of distance. We've got a whole major organization, a billion dollar corporation that can provide the technical support that we need. And then that also means that there is less responsibility and accountability. So the university can say, oh, this is Aramark's policy. But at the same time, then the facilities management company can say, that's what the university told us to do. So it, it allows for, I think, many parties to actually not have to take responsibility. Currently, there are six off-campus buildings that are managed by a different company that's not Aramark. Aramark's attempt to get that contract is to say, yes, we can do it and we won't have to hire a single new person. We can expand because of like new technology. We can use the exact same number of people who are employed right now and take care of those six other off-site buildings. Technology is constantly changing, so equipment changes can really help that. If you can help an employee do a better quality and possibly be able to handle the schedule that they have in a little quicker way. Which ends up putting an incredible strain on the workers. I mean, they're already working extremely hard and to have to now have six more buildings that are going to be under their responsibility without getting any kind of extra remuneration for that. 
in order to get more done in, in the same amount of time, you cut corners. And those corners can either be that you don't clean as well because you can't do as, as good of a job as you would if you had the amount of time that it takes, or you cut corners in terms of your own safety. And one of those things has to go. The majority of our employees um, are Hispanic and um, a good majority of them come from the small country of El Salvador. They bring a cultural sense about them or so with that. We have six operational managers and all of them are bilingual. They can come in that door anytime. Don't be afraid, every one of them know that. And I love to be out there in the morning and just say good morning to them. And, and I'll say, como esta? Bien, you know, mio bien, things like that. Go to school together. English is difficult, yeah, because it's not like the Spanish. In Spanish, you read the same way you write. English, you write in one way and you read different way. You pronounce different. It's very difficult, but we have the capacity to do. I try to do, and I'm sure I will, yeah. I'm from Honduras, Tegucigalpa. Honduras is a beautiful place, beautiful. The problem now is the economy, I think, affects the whole world, and my country is no one exception. And when the economy is bad, the criminality go up. It's very dangerous now. I came to this country six years ago. I tell you, I am public defender in my country for 10 years. And I came here because my life was in danger. Right? I tried to take English class, go to the law school, and my what I have to do for take my career again. Well, I do burritos in salsa. Very good burritos. <laughs> Some people who work for AU, they know, and they, they go to salsa and tell me, I know you are a lawyer in your country, and it's good you are working in your English. When you came to this country, you don't expect to do that you do before in your country. You do whatever you have to do. I like working with, the, with people, but it's frustrating. You have one status in your country, and you came here, and you, you don't have nothing. I hope one day I can do my real job. All right, this should be coming soon, guys. This is the first time I put in English and Spanish because I wanted to outreach to English-speaking workers, and I find out that yesterday, surprise, surprise, the supervisor, or excuse me, the manager, planned for a meeting today at 11 for the workers. How long? But, well, it's only going to be max like 45 minutes, but they are designated a lunch break, so should, they should be here around 11.45, 12. I hope you all are eating, you're happy. This meeting is for all of you. Esta reunión es para ustedes, para pasar el contrato con Aramark y para hablar sobre los derechos que ustedes tienen. ¿Ok? Muchas gracias. Y también quiero hablar, hay algunos de ustedes que no están recibiendo clase de inglés o de leer y escribir. Si ustedes quieren participar en eso, por favor, habla conmigo después de la reunión. It's Community Learners Advancing in Spanish and English. Clase means class in Spanish. Essentially how it works is we pair AU students with the Aramark and Bon Appetit workers. So they're the cafeteria staff, those that work as janitors, and we pair AU students and these staff members based on their language level of Spanish or English. Uh, we have some workers that are illiterate, so we pair them with advanced Spanish speakers who are students. They work on tutoring, language exchange. The true purpose of Clase is to, to create a sense of community and to bridge the gap that exists oftentimes workers are kind of treated with invisibility 
and certainly by this program we really hope to have students and faculty staff whoever's involved really put a name to a face and appreciate the workers for all they do. This is the first time we're class A, at least this semester, we're really trying to incorporate social activism within our mission. Um, so it's not solely literary empowerment, but also this wider movement of social activism and social justice for the workers on campus. Well, right now, the two main ones that we are trying to work on is just increasing accessibility resources on campus, whether it be the library, computer facilities, and also we're trying to work on having um, garage parking more economically feasible for the workers because the prices hike up each year. In addition to that, we're really trying to kind of change this bureaucratic culture of the working environment, have workers feel more empowered, help them essentially work on, on demanding their rights. Okay, yeah, I <laughs> Oh, my name is Fatou Sanko. I work for Aramark at American University. I'm from West Africa, Sierra Leone, and I've been working here for 18 years, but I've been here more than 18 years. I have my family here, my mother is here, and my daughters are here. My, I have two grown daughters. My last daughter is 18, almost 19. Oh my goodness, do you have to ask Beyonce? No, I love her, love her. One day I was, I was so tired, but I listened to her videotape, her I Am DVD, and I went to my house. I was so pumped up. I cleaned this whole house. Maybe one day I sing, <laughs> single lady. <laughs> <laughs> I work at Bethel Tomkin. When I come in the early in the morning, I clean the classrooms. Then I check the bathrooms and make sure they have toilet papers and everything. Then after that, I. I go check the atrium, make sure the, the tables are all straightened up, then I check around to see and pull some of the trash in the lobby area. That's about it. <laughs> then I do the glass, the front glass doors, and then, you know. The way I feel about my Spanish co-workers is remind me of when I was in my country, we very, very close. When I work with them, I see how close and uh, they're very good with family and they're very close community. It reminds me of my own. When I was in my country in Africa, nobody go between us because we're very close up to this day. Okay. Um, hola, buenos dias. Que tal? I'm trying to learn my Spanish and my teacher is Jackie, one of the students, and she's very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> well, I, I'm learning Spanish because I work with my Spanish friends and I love them. I want to communicate with them, you know. We're very close. Students are very good to us. They will do anything for us. You can mess with us here because the students are very, very good to us. I love to work for them because they always come here and work hard and go to school. And I like to see that. A lot of work on the students. But they're always smiling and trying to help us like Jackie. She has a lot of work to do with. She still took her time to teach me the Spanish thing that I wanted to learn. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> it, make it, it makes a whole difference. It makes my hard work easier for me. Gracias. <laughs>